Hi there, I'm James Adams from Raspberry Pi. Today I'm going to talk to you about the compute module. This is the Raspberry Pi compute module. It's got the Raspberry Pi processor, BCM2835, 512 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of eMMC flash, and all on a sodium sized DDR2 uh, module. So we've used the form factor of the DDR2 module. All the pins of the processor are actually available uh, on the edge connector here. You can use a standard DDR2 socket to plug, uh, plug it into. It's 30 by 68 millimeters in size, so standard um, sodium uh, size, and designed for um, allowing you to build your own embedded applications based on the Pi, uh, Pi software and hardware. So the compute module is targeted at any, uh, anyone who wants to use the Raspberry Pi core technology, uh, but um, doesn't want to be constrained by the Raspberry Pi form factor. Uh, perhaps you want to use it in a drone. Uh, so you know the Raspberry Pi with all its extra ports and things. You, you're not interested in that. Uh, or if you want to, you know, basically embed it into a product uh, that has a your own form factor, and you only you only want to use the um, and you want to use the functionality uh, that is necessary for that product. Uh, the compute module also has extra I.O. and functionality over the Pi itself. So you've got um, two camera interfaces, more GPIOs, two display interfaces. So this, it's really, a, it's really I guess we see it at Raspberry Pi a bit like um, uh, uh, a sort of a chip. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, uh, a, a part of your product. Um, you know, you, you put it down much like you would a BGA or something like that, uh, wire it up correctly. Uh, and, and, and away you go. And we've made it relatively simple to do that. We've done all the hard work on the PCB, uh, on the fine pitch BGAs on the module itself. So you can use a relatively low tech uh, uh, board to build the rest of the system um, and, and leverage the functionality of the Pi relatively straightforwardly. So I think there are, really are a limitless amount of applications you could use a compute module in. Basically anything you can use a Raspberry Pi for, you can use a compute module for. Um, we've seen people doing Kickstarters, doing um, media players, uh, a, a camera. Um, we've also had people talking to us about digital signage and um, it's also a great IoT platform. It's, it's actually a really quite an easy module to sort of wire up into your own application to uh, to make it do something, and you've got all the uh, schematics for for the compute module and our um, example thing called, called the I/O board um, as an example of how to start, you know, building a project. So the compute module is unique because it it leverages the core technology of Raspberry Pi, which is uh, now very stable and well supported. Uh, compute module is very easy to get hold of, and it's also very well priced. Uh, we wanted to. Um, give people the opportunity to leverage the core Raspberry Pi technology at the lowest possible price. And of course, uh, we have a great community um, out there supporting Raspberry Pi and also therefore Compute Module. So the Compute Module um, benefits versus putting the processor in the flash and, and all these devices down on your own board are the fact that we've done the hard bit. So uh, the compute module processor and, and memory and flash are all small BJ devices. The compute module board itself is relatively high-tech PCB. Um, so if you, if you use that, you're leveraging the fact that we've done the hard work on the PCB design for these complex um, devices. And we've also uh, leveraged our ability to, to buy these things at low prices and provide the module um, at a low price itself. Uh, and you can and go ahead and design your carrier board or your product um, on a much lower technology um, without worrying about the, the more high-tech detailed stuff. So I think the big benefit of using a compute module over a standard Raspberry Pi is the fact that you can create your own form factor. So if you want something smaller than a Raspberry Pi or with a different mix of peripherals, um, that's, you know, that's completely and entirely up to you. And of course, we've We've also got a lot more GPIO and interfaces on the compute module, so um, you know there's just more, much more flexibility in the way you design your product. Sure. So here's a great example of a product that's been made using the compute module. This is a product called Slice. Uh, it's a uh, it's a hard disk media player. It's got an aluminium case. All the ports are on the back. Um, it's got you know Ethernet, USB, HDMI, uh, audio, and it is a great example of 
what you can do with a compute module and why you wouldn't want to use a Raspberry Pi. So this is the form factor story. Um, you know, the Raspberry Pi wouldn't fit in this kind of product. Um, you need all the ports on the back. There's extra functionality here, like the audio codec and, and different powering and, and, and lighting. Um, so this is a, a perfect example of where the compute module um, would you know, really fit in a product. And also any product that you know, has a similar form factor issue or if, if you've got something like a drone which um, needs the core processing but doesn't need all the ports and you're, you're worried about the lowest weight. Um, uh, you know, th these kind of applications are great. Uh, vending machines um, where you, it just needs to sit behind, behind the control panel and talk to the internet and it doesn't need all the extra ports and fancy bits. Um, those are the kind of applications that uh, you know, will really fit the compute module. Okay, dream application for the compute module. Um, I think we just like to see it in high volume production. Um, if there's a, a good consumer electronic or, or um, you know, product that's um, well known that we can point at and say the compute modules, this is, this is powered by the compute module, that'd be a great story for us. Um, yeah, I think, you know, just, just to know that it's in, it's in some great technology, um, that, that's good enough for me. So we provide something called the Compute Module Development Kit to get you started using the Compute Module. Uh, what you get is uh, this board, which is the, uh, what we call the Compute Module I.O. board, uh, which um, uh, takes the Compute Module, you also get a Compute Module, um, and you can plug in uh, one or two Raspberry Pi cameras into the board and, and, and similarly the displays, and it breaks all the GPIO out um, to these two headers. Uh, so I've got this board running uh, standard Raspbian uh, with a camera connected and we can show the camera working, uh, just looking out the office window there. Um, so that's, you know, this is a great um, get you started kit. Uh, all the schematics for the, the module and the I.O. board are available online, and it's, it's, um, it's the way we think people should begin to uh, build applications around the compute module.